I'm giving a course this year on retinal frontiers, uh, updates in gene therapy and stem cell therapy. I've actually given this course, I have to remember how many years now, this is probably the sixth or seventh year. Um, it's evolved over the last few years. Uh, originally it was an updates in retinal gene therapy, but in the last year I've added on the stem cell section with someone named David Gam, who's an excellent stem cell um, researcher and MD. So it basically provides an overview for the general ophthalmologist or a retina specialist on um, inherited retinal diseases, how we genetically test and diagnose these patients and characterize them, moving into a Gene Therapy 101 section where we basically teach, again, the general ophthalmologist uh, what uh, viral vectors we, we use for gene therapy from AAV to lentivirus and um, how we produce these vectors. And then it moves into an updates and clinical trial section, which is the longest section. So we do updates in all the phase one, two gene therapy retinal trials right now, the one phase three trial that's been conducted for, for Lux Turner, which is now FDA approved. And then at the end, we do a stem cell overview section. So Dave Gam leads that entire section. He does stem cell therapy 101 and t teaches us about what stem cell therapy is and the approaches that we use and does a short clinical trial overview section on the um, current stem cell trials uh, that are going on. So it's really a good overview to help the general ophthalmologist uh, or retina specialist on how to approach counseling patients, identifying patients. Uh, we're living in a new era now with retinal gene therapy and stem cell therapy, and this is cutting edge technology, so hence the name Retinal Frontiers. Um, so I think it's a very exciting course. We've had um, a lot of growth in the course um, over the last few years and a very good showing typically each year. Boy, there's so many trials that are going on right now in retinal gene therapy. I'll probably answer just specifically to retinal gene therapy, although there are quite a few interesting trials in stem cell therapy as well. Um, with the recent approval of Luxterna, which happened in December of 2017, there's really been an increased interest in companies approaching retinal gene therapy. So there are a number of different companies now approaching the same disease. So for instance, just for one disease, which I'm very interested in seeing treated, X-linked retinitis pigmentosus, an extremely aggressive, damaging disease that sadly affects very young, typically males. Um, these are the males that you see in your clinic who are 12, 13, 14 years old um, who are already experiencing significant visual field loss and they can go blind even in their late adolescence or early adulthood completely. So there are now three uh, companies that are addressing X-linked retinitis pigmentosa in early phase one, two trials, um, Mira and um, Nightstar and AGTC. So I'm very excited to see how these trials uh, sort out. It's always exciting watching the early phase one, two trials um, and seeing the successes and what we learn from safety and efficacy efficacy from these trials, and then hopefully something will move into a phase three and get, get commercialized. Um, stem cell therapy, there's a whole bunch as well in there, but um, I'm, I'm less of an expert myself in the stem cell trials. I'm personally interested in seeing some of these stem cell scaffolds, um, and I think that there, there's a lot of promise in some of the early human work in the scaffolds. Boy, there's been a lot. I'm personally, of course, always interested in inherited retinal diseases, but from just to step aside, for, I think from a big picture, um, the uh, Novartis trial on the X date of AMD, the RTH258 drug, um, brolizizumab, presented their two year data at this meeting on success in X date of AMD. So that's always, you know, that's groundbreaking and a big, a huge population of patients that's going to affect. So I'd say that's probably, if you were just to ask the general person, um, uh, the big one of the biggest highlights of this particular academy, and I'm interested to see um, where that leads us in the future with X-Data AMD options.